What are hominins? It is a group which includes us and our other ancestral relatives which look or are more closely related to us. And as we all know, a few hundred thousands of years ago, we weren't the only ones around. There were several other human species that existed at the same time. The two most talked about are the Neanderthals and the Denisovans. In this video, we will be discussing about the Denisovans. If you would like to know more about the Neanderthals, please check our previous video because we have discussed everything about this species. And do not forget to hit like and subscribe. Denisovans, or also known as the Denisova hominin, lived possibly throughout Eastern Asia between about 200,000 years ago and 50,000 years ago. Fragments of their fossils were found in 2008 in the remote Denisova caves in the Atlai Mountains in Siberia, a cave which was also inhabited by the Neanderthals and us, the modern humans. How did they know who inhabited the cave? It was from the 2010 finding which transformed the cave into one of the world's most important archaeological sites. Researchers have since found more ancient human bones in the cave including the stunning discovery of a first-generation hybrid which had a Neanderthal mother and a Denisovan father. Evidence of 13 separate occupations occurring between 125,000 and 30,000 years ago is also supported by the presence of artifacts from the Acheulean, Mousterian and Leviathan stone flaking industries. Back to the topic, the remains discovered in Siberia was a pinky bone, but a lower jaw with few teeth was found in a cave nestled at the edge of the Tibetan plateau, which was the first fossil found outside of Siberia. Because so little is known about this species, there's a slight reluctance in giving them any scientific name yet. Not so much is known about them, but still, people want to know how they looked like. And ever since archaeologists uncovered the first fragmented Denisovan remains in a Siberian cave, researchers have scorched the globe for clues to how the mysterious hominins looked. Finally, this aspect was only looked into just a little over a decade ago using proteomics, DNA study as well as computational biology. And as discussed by scientists, they said that some of the traits resembled us, some resembled the Neanderthals, while the others are quite unique. So based on complex DNA analysis of Denisovans, Neanderthals, chimpanzees and humans, it showed that the Denisovan skull was probably wider than that of us or Neanderthals and it also appeared that they have no chin. Other features included a sloping forehead, long face and large pelvis which were the traits that are similar to that of the Neanderthals. An analysis of the finger bone revealed that the Denisovan's fingers were much more smaller to those of modern humans than expected, and other traits were unique, one example was a large dental arch. There was a lot of mystery. But continued genetic study has slowly drawn the Denisovans out of the shadows. Apparently, they split from the Neanderthal relatives at least 400,000 years ago. And while Neanderthals put down roots across Europe and the Middle East, Denisovans headed east throughout Asia. Along the way, they interbred with our ancient ancestors and left genetic fingerprints still seen in modern populations of Asian descent. About 5% of the ancestry of people from Oceania can be traced to Denisovans, according to studies, raising the possibility that the hominin lived far away from Siberia. Keep in mind that having more or less DNA in common with archaic humans says nothing about how evolved a person is nor does it give any indication of strength or intelligence. They have also found evidence that the Denisovans lived at high altitudes in Tibet, passing on a gene that helps modern people cope at similar elevations. The altitude of the Denisovans' home was 3,280 meters above sea level, 
and that surprised researchers, but helps to solve a mystery about Denisovan's genetic contribution to modern Tibetans and clearly modern humans have reaped the benefit of these adaptations that they acquired. Over the past two decades, DNA retrieved from ancient fossils has transformed scientists' understanding of human evolution. Analysis of the similarities and differences in the DNA of different hominin groups has allowed researchers to map out the raveled family tree in a way that was previously not possible, and genetic material has led to some major finds, such as the discovery of Denisovans in the first place. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Do tell us what you thought of it in the comment section down below and remember to check our channel for more related videos and do continue giving us your love and support by liking our videos and subscribing to the channel. Till then, this is Hella Bella and see you soon in our next video.